So Ed Penton questioned P. Fizzer themselves and said, hey, did did uh, your CEO go and to the Vatican and meet with Pope Francis? And they said they can neither confirm nor deny that information. What are the two objections to what you've been trying to push for the last two years or year and a half? Well, there's a moral objection that these medications, injecciones, then the, the second problem is, is a health problem. Do they work? Are they effective? Um, if you get them and you get boosted and you do everything they tell you to do, uh, you're, you're going to be able to go on with your life, right? Like go out in public, not wear things on your face, never get sick again of this certain disease. Well, it turns out maybe not. Seems like everyone who went along and did the boosters and all that, they all ended up getting sick. You were able to get him to come on board and tell everybody the P. Fizzer injection is awesome. Everybody should do it. In fact, I'm going to get it. Bennett the 16th is going to get it. All the Cardinals and all the staff are going to get it. And uh, by the way, employees, if you don't get it, you're terminated. And then all the world governments are just throwing money at P. Fizzer. Is there any incentive for Francis to push the P. Fizzer? It's been noted by a lot of people in the last 24 hours that the Vatican exclusively uses the P. Fizzer, not the others. Hmm. Interesting that there's a secret meeting twice. The CEO of that company. And now it's like the official treatment of Vatican City and of employees. Ah, agora eu entendi. Agora eu saquei. Agora todas as peças se encaixaram. Maybe it's a coincidence. Maybe when they opened up their medical supplies, like, oh, we got the P. Fizzer ones. I have heard the American bishops and cardinals, most of them, not all of them, preach with conviction about the beauty, the promise, the goodness, the truth of these treatments and how there's a moral obligation to live a chaste life. No, moral obligation to defend traditional Catholic marriage. No, moral obligation to vote pro-life. No, a moral obligation to submit to this treatment. When was the last time you heard American Catholic bishops rise up with zeal in the in the pulpit with conviction in their voice forming the consciences of the people in the pews and to anyone who would listen with boldness saying you have a moral obligation calling down thunder with their convictions Because when asked about active LMNOP, active sodomy on the airplane post, says, who am I to judge? Who am I to judge? But if you act him about, ask him about P. Pfizer, he'll say it's a moral obligation. Moral obligation. Two men living together? Who am I to judge? I'm just the Pope. Hey, should we get this P. Fizzer injection? Moral obligation. And it's just, uh, you know that meme? The guy with the black turtleneck? He's like, that's what it feels like when I enter into the realm of Pope Francis. <gasps>